Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In my previous video, I have discussed about what is recursive descent parser. So in this video, I am going to discuss about what is shift reduce parser. So before getting started with this video, I would like to say you one thing that if you are watching this video for the first time, then please do subscribe to our channel. And if you are already a subscriber, then please do watch whole video and hit the like button. So let's get started. Okay, now let's discuss what is shift reduce parser. What is shift reduce parser? Shift reduce parser is used to reduce a string to the stat symbol of a given grammar. Uh, whenever you wanted to reduce a string to the stat symbol, then you are going to use this shift reduce parser. So how we are going to reduce that particular string by using the grammar. Grammar is nothing but the rules or the production rules. By using those rules only, you can reduce a particular string to the stat symbol. So in the shift reduce parser, you will be having two parts. The first one is stack, the other is input tape. So what is stack? Stack uh, is nothing but a data structure where we will be arranging the elements in a systematic order, right? So in this particular uh, uh, shift reduce parser, this particular stack is used to store the grammar. That is nothing but in order to store the rules, we are going to use this particular stack. So what is input tape? Input tape is also a place where we will be storing some something. So in this particular shift reduce parser, you will be storing this string. The input string is stored in this input tape. OK, the next point, this parser performs two actions. The first one is shift action and the second is reduce action. That is why it is known as shift reduce parser. See while we are reducing a particular string to the start symbol so you are going to perform two actions the first one is shift action and the second is reduce action so this is the reason why we are calling this parser as shift reduce parser okay so at shift action what we are going to do the current symbol in the input string is pushed to the stack see there is a thing called a stack and the input tape see i have mentioned here there is stack and input tape so in the input tape you are going to have the string so while reducing what we are going to do is we are pushing one element of the input tape to the stack so that action is nothing but shift action so in the reduction action, what we are going to do is the sim the symbols will be replaced by the non terminals. See, uh, what are the terminals and non terminals? Let me show you. See, uh, t tends to c. Consider this as one of the production rule. T tends to c is one of the production rule. So whatever, whatever the symbols that are present at the right hand side of this particular production rule, those are nothing but the terminals. And what are the symbols that are present at the left hand side of this particular production rule? Those are nothing but the non terminals. These are non terminals. And these are nothing but the terminals. OK. So in this uh, reduction action, so in this particular reduction action, what we are going to do is we are going to replace this particular symbols. That is whatever the elements that we have pushed in the stack that are replaced with this non terminals. OK, so this is about the shift reduce parser. So uh, I'm going to explain it with an example. So this is the example. So these are nothing but the production rules. These production rules are applicable only for this particular string. OK. Don't use it for another string. So these are the four production rules and this is nothing but a string. OK. So whenever uh, a question is given that uh, they have given the production rules and a string and they ask you to reduce it by using the shift reduce parser, then the first thing you have to do is you have to make a table and you have to make three columns in it. The first column is going to the stack and the second is for input and the third is for action. See in action, I have already said that there are two actions. The first one is shift action and the other is reduce action. In shift, what we are going to do in shift action, we are going to take one element in the input string and we are pushing that element into the stack. That is nothing but the shift action. So when it comes to the reduction action, so what we are going to do, we are taking one production rule and we are replacing this particular stack symbol with that non terminal in that rule. Okay, so you will be getting the clear understanding uh, after 
I complete explaining this example. So let's see. So you have to make three columns that the first column is stack, next is input and the other is action, right? So in stack, you have to start with the dollar symbol, okay? And input, whatever the string they have given, you have to write that and then you have to end it with the dollar symbol. So in action, you have to perform either shift action or it may be reduce action. So coming to the uh, first, first row, first you have to take dollar then input string with the uh, that is ending with dollar symbol and the action see what action we have to perform the first action in order to reduce that particular string is first you have to shift shift this c1 to the stack if you shift only you can reduce otherwise you can't read i mean first only uh, if you take uh, if you reduce this there is no nothing in the string how can you perform reduce you are you you can't perform reduce so you are going to perform the shift action in the shift action what we are going to do is you are shifting this particular c1 into the stack i mean you are pushing c1 into the stack okay so you can see it in the next line so here uh, the stack contains dollar c1 where that uh, you have removed this particular c1 right you have to write the remaining element that is minus of c2 plus c3 that should be ended with the dollar symbol okay now check check whether whatever the element that is present in the stack is matching with the production rules see the first production rule there there is only one element right but in the first production rule there are two elements so it is not matching so in the second production rule it is also having two elements it is not matching but in the third production rule you are having this particular one element but it is not matching so this is also wrong and in the uh, fourth production rule you can see that t tends to c so you will be ha you are having c consider this whole thing as c okay so now we are going to replace this particular c1 with t so what action we should perform we should perform reduction action that is what rule we are we are applying here that is t tends to c so we are going to perform reduction action so in the next step you can see that this c1 is replaced with t okay so uh, check whether uh, if if any other production rules are applicable so no production rules are applicable here so go to the input string and uh, what you have to do is you have to shift one element you have to shift this minus element to the stack okay so now we are shifting it so the remaining element should be written in the input string and you have to do i um, you have to write what action you have performed that you have performed shift action right so or uh, coming to the next thing so here also t minus it is not uh, matching with any of the production rules so what what we have to do is we have to perform again the shift action so you have to shift this particular uh, braces open parenthesis to the stack okay and coming to the next thing so what what we have to do again we have to check whether this particular uh, element that is present in the stack is matching with the production rules so it is not matching with the production rules right so that's why you have to shift again you perform shift action now. so you have to push this particular c2 to the stack so you can see that c2 is pushed into the stack so the remaining element should be written in the input string and then you have to mention what action you have performed and uh, check whether this particular i mean this particular stack whatever the elements present in the stack is matching with the production rules or not so check check it with the production rules so you are having t minus open parenthesis of some element so that that this particular thing is not matching with any of the elements right check minus of uh, open parenthesis c2 is matching with anyone no nor normal parenthesis is there no then c2 is there c2 c2 consider c2 as c only so c is there so you can replace this particular c with t so what we are doing is we are performing the reduction action so here i mentioned that you i have performed the reduction action and the production rule what i have uh, applied is also written here okay the next thing is so now we have re re reduced that is completed so again what you have to do is you have to perform the shift action now you have to uh, push this particular plus symbol into the stack okay and coming to the next thing 
so this particular product i mean this particular symbol is not matching with any of the production rules so come to the next step so what we have to do is you have to push this particular c3 into the stack so this is what the final answer is so what we have done is the shift action we have done that is what i mentioned here and then again you can see that we have the rule that t tends to c right again this particular c3 is replaced with t so what we have done what action we have done we have done reduction action so this particular production rule is what we have applied so mention it then you can see that t plus t there is a production rule matching with it see See t tends to t plus t. So this particular whole, this particular t plus t can be replaced by t, right? So you can replace it. So you can replace this whole t plus t with t. Okay. Here we perform the reduction action. Hence you have to write we have performed the reduction action and the production rule what we have applied. I mean sorry, this one, right? This rule you have to write. And the next thing is you have to shift this particular uh, normal parenthesis into the stack. So we have performed the shift action that is what I mentioned. And then you can see that there is another production rule where it is matching. See there is a this production rule. So this production rule there is this production rule T tends to bra brackets open T and brackets close. So this particular uh, thing can be replaced with T again. So here I mentioned that so deduction action I have done. So this is what the rule is. And if you can see what the elements present in this tag is T minus T. So we are having another production rule which is matching with it. So this is the production rule. So here T minus T can be replaced with T. So you can uh, replace this whole thing with T. Right. So this is what the answer is. So here we can see that this this particular string, this particular input string, this particular input string is reduced to the start symbol. I mean, this particular string is reduced to the start symbol. So at the last, we have to write the accept. Accept you have to write if if there is any problem in the middle and you can't go further, then you have to write reject instead of writing accept you have to write reject there so if you want another example so you can uh, you can also write this example see these are the production rules and this is the input string they have given so as i said earlier in this act you have to start with the dollar symbol and the input string you have to write the whole input and then you have to end it with the dollar symbol so first in order to reduce the string we are going to perform the shift action where i have the shifted this particular seven into the stack so this is what the uh, stack consists of and you can see that this particular uh, whatever the element present in stack is not matching with the production rule so again i have performed the shift action now i have shifted this particular five to the stack i have pushed it into the stack so again i have to check whether this particular thing is matching with the production rule so there, there is no rule matching with this so again what i have done is i have to perform the shift shift action so again what i have done is i have shifted this nine into the stack so this is what the stack consists of again i have to check whether this particular thing is present in the production rule or not so you can see that this uh, particular thing is matching right a tends to nine the, there is an element nine in the stack right so you have to replace this particular nine with a so here we performed reduce action so what the production rule you have applied that that should be mentioned here so you can see so the what the stack consists of is seven five a so now uh, there is no production rule that is matching with the 75a so again what we have to do is we have to perform the shift action in shift action we have to shift 5 to the stack so that is what the action uh, i have mentioned here and again you have shifted this particular thing so this is what the element that is present in the stack so check whether this particular thing is uh, matching with the production rule so you can see that uh, this particular rule is matching right a tends to 5a5 so you have to replace this 5a5 with a right 
so you you have to mention what action you have performed and what rule you have used to perform this reduction okay then the what the stack is having 7a so you have to check whether the, uh, this is matching with the production rule or not no it is not matching then again you have to perform the direct i mean shift action so you have to shift this particular 7 to the stack so again check whether this is matching with any of the production rule check whether it is matching or not so there is another rule which it is matching so you can replace this 7a7 with a so you can replace this 7a7 with a okay so you have performed the reduction action and write what the rule you have applied there so this is what the final thing and here you can see that you have reduced this particular string input string to the start symbol so hence you have to write the accept otherwise if some problem has occurred and you have you are not going further then you have to write reject so this is about the shift reduce parser so in the next video i will be discussing about the other parser so until then thank you and if you have any doubts please do comment so if you want to receive any regular updates about uh, the video uploads then please do join our telegram channel where which i have mentioned in the description box so thank you thank you for your support